Hey everybody. Okay, so uh, we are going to be replacing the Cobra Max's nozzle, um, and I'll show you why. Um, let's, let's see if we can get this to focus here. So that's the old one, and uh, here's the new one. Still in the package. You see how there's more of a point to that? That's that's what should be there. So, in just hours of printing, like I, I say hours, um, it was a lot of hours. Like the Anacubic Cobra Max, I printed all of these pages for the Book of the Dead, which is 40 hours each page, right? So that's a lot of printing hours. Um, I noticed that there was some stuff wrong when um, on this back page, this is gonna take hold. Here's the back page. This is all nice and pretty, right? But uh, this is the top of it. And this was seven layers on the top layer, but come on, focus. You see that? That's some under extrusion crunchiness. That is um, a partial clog. So it completed printing. It's not pretty. I will have to reprint this because that is, that's not going out to anyone for sale. So, um, I tried printing then the front cover on my artillery and the measurements, as you can see, are not correct. And I just, Kira has a add-on that you can download for a measurement tool and you can measure from like corner to corner and here to here. So I did that and the model the front cover is supposed to fit perfectly and it will. So printing between two different printers, those two pieces did not fit together. Um, so I'm replacing the nozzle. Unfortunately, there's not very many videos out there where I can find replacing the nozzle on this thing. So uh, I am doing this without camera help. Um, so bear with me as I'm just gonna go step by step of telling you what I'm doing. Heat your nozzle. So I'm heating this to 230. You can see there. So I can feed filament through and it gets all the way to the hot end and starts extruding through, but then stops and gets like, come on, focus. Look at that. That was stuck in the nozzle. So that is black with gray melted around into it. Um, yeah, new nozzle time. Appropriate tools, um, don't touch your nozzle. It is very hot. I'm using a hex seven um, and then I'm gonna use this to hold the heater block so that doesn't move as I'm trying to loosen it. Uh, can't do that on camera, so oh, hopefully yeah. it just fell out uh, after turning. I don't know if you can see that. It's uh, smoking right now. I'm going to leave it in the middle. That is, that is burnt filament from in there. So let's get this thing changed out. That's going to cool off for a bit. Um, so is that because that is hot to touch. And we're gonna get our new nozzle. Oh yeah, that's a point eight. Well, that's lovely. You know what? That's okay. I wanted to switch this out to a bigger nozzle anyway. And uh, it'll make printing things easier, I guess. Take less time. Let's do it. So next, tighten it in. And you don't want to like over tighten it because you can over tighten it and start stripping it. So 0.8. Um, and you want to be careful because see those wires up there? Like you don't want to be gripping too hard to where you can bend or break or scratch, like really any of that. 
so now I'm going to, now that it's 2.30, uh, let's go ahead and drop this down to zero, check, back here, and then we're gonna level because I did just change out the nozzle. We need to re-level this sucker. Um, so always make sure that you are doing your leveling properly. And now I have to go back into my slicer and make sure that I'm putting it at a 0 0.8 millimeter nozzle instead of a 0 0.4, just to be sure that there's no problems there. And then work on filament and tuning for a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. Um, stay tuned while we work on this. Got some new filament coming through on it and man, that is thick. But uh, that's better than what it was doing beforehand before I changed out the nozzle. So this is the new nozzle and the filament and now I feel comfortable getting a project going. And we're printing. So uh, obviously there's some things I have to dial in because that is not the best first layer. Um, but I'm happy that it is at least printing. I hate having one of my biggest FDM printers just kind of chilling. So back to work. <laughs> 